Hello, this is Ben with Rocky River Retrievers. Hey, just wanted to talk to you a bit about some of the common genetic disorders that can happen in labs and what to look for. Um, one of the ones I'm gonna talk about in this uh, video is called exercise-induced collapse. Um, exercise-induced collapse is, uh, we usually call it EIC. It uh, is found in 30% of Labradors. So they're either carriers or they have the actual disease. Now let me explain the difference between a carrier clear and affected. An affected dog would be one that um, has two copies of the recessive gene. They got one copy from their mom, one copy from their dad, and now they're going to be an affected dog. They're actually gonna have the disease. A carrier would be get one that gets one copy from one of the parents. It could be the dad or the mom, and that the other parent is clear, so they don't carry the gene. So this dog, this puppy, if they're a carrier, won't be affected by the disease. They don't have the disease. They just are a carrier of that gene. And if they were ever bred to another dog that was a carrier, then those puppies might get the, get the disease. Now, they're also uh, clear, which means they have no copies of the bad uh, gene, which is fantastic. That's what you shoot for if you can. Um, it's okay to uh, actually breed a, a carrier to a non-carrier though, or a clear dog. Uh, the puppies won't be affected. They'll just have some carrier puppies um, in that case. Um, however, what is what is exercise-induced collapse? Number one, it's, it's this genetic disorder where dogs, they, they will run and play for about 20-30 minutes and then they just collapse like that and they can't get up anymore. Um, you have to actually pick them up and take them home and they need to rest for quite a while before they can even get back up. It's a terrible, terrible genetic disorder and you want to make sure you avoid it for your puppy at all costs. So when you're looking to buy a puppy, make sure that you ask, have the parents been tested for EIC? Because 30% of labs are actually carriers of the gene. And when they both have it, it's almost like they have a stroke and they just can't get up. It's terrible. So you don't want to, have to buy a puppy or to, to introduce a puppy into your family and uh, find out later that this poor puppy has uh, EIC because there's not really anything you can do about it. It's just a genetic disorder, okay? So uh, there's many more of these genetic disorders I'm going to talk about and give you more information on. We do a lot of testing at Rocky River Retrievers to make sure we're not passing down any of these terrible things so that our puppies are healthy and uh, they're happy as they should be. And um, so that is exercise-induced collapse.